Hey Internet, this is Sam from Orange Game Boy. You hopefully you've seen some of our videos before, and today I'm going to be checking out Mirror's Edge from Dice. Uh, I'd like to point out first of all that I've played Mirror's Edge. Um, I can honestly say at least twice through. You know, I've a select few levels a few more times, and I really enjoy this game. I don't think it'll ever happen, but I'd love to see a sequel from this. I think Dice did a really great job of doing a first-person platformer really well. And they really capture the feel of parkour, which I've always seen in video. I have a friend of mine who does it, but it's just not my thing personally. So we're going to kick things off by just checking out the prologue level, because I've done it a million times. If you've ever played a demo or you know the game, you've seen it before or you've played it. It's a beautiful piece that really shows off how the game works. And I'm going to be really excited just to run through it as fast as I can and probably fuck it up in front of everybody on camera. So without further ado, as soon as Faith lands her shoes, we're going to get started. Alright, so in game now, I've already turned off the cursor, so I apologize if you have any kind of motion sickness problems. Already botched it. Um, I apologize for that in advance, if that's the case, but that's just how I play personally, so I hope you'll be fine. Past that, I've already screwed up twice, but we're going to keep going anyway. You know, Don't stop for nothing kind of attitude. Uh, this is not intended to be any kind of way to play this level, so much as I'm really just trying to show off how the game works. Uh, bear in mind, I'm playing this on PC, for perhaps obviously, but uh, I'm playing with the Xbox controller hooked up because I've never played with the PC controls, and I can't imagine really wanting to at any point. I swear, I have almost never managed to get him to be happy. I've done it before on the Xbox version, but on the PC, it just always seems to have issues with it. Uh, we probably won't get to see them, because I think I'm going to quit right as this level ends, but this game does have a very interesting cutscene style as compared to the game. Uh, I agree with some people who say that they would have preferred an in-game visuals for all the cutscenes, because I think that would have looked a lot better personally, but at the same time, it's a really interesting style that uh, I've heard some people describe as e so if you remember those old car commercials, it looks very much like that. So we're getting our first hand of enemies right now, since the story is basically that I'm a freerunner in a world where information is tightly watched and created almost 1984 style. So since I'm tracing information for people, uh, basically all the authorities are out to get me. I don't remember the character's name, but he's the one who's basically looking out for Faith as she runs, checking out where the police are. Alright, I'm going to initiate my slowdown. Cause that's a really cool leap, and that'll nail me my, my roll. Let's see what's going on. I don't see anybody, but let's not stick around to find out. Oh shit! All right, so at this point we're already nearing the end, so I'm not sure if I'm going to cut this into two videos or even just do the next level for kicks. I'm going to skip combat because it's really not that fun. Uh, assuming you never played the game before, you basically just punch the enemy or disarm him, and the gunplay is kind of bad. Considering this is a dice production, that comes as a real shocker, because they're the battlefield guys, but, you know, it must have been a different development team or just a different group within dice. Again, this is a pretty rare cutscene, I have no control here. And I'm not going to skip it just because it leaks into that. Lots and lots and lots of dudes. Fuck going through the door, I'm going to leap over, slide under. And I'm going to make a leap of faith. Pun intended. Even though it looks like you never grab it, you actually do. So I venture another cutscene. I get to check back at me in the mirror. Looking pretty okay. And that will be the end of the prologue mission from Mirror's Edge. I'm sure that's not even close to the fastest time. But, uh... I'd say it's pretty decent. It took me a couple minutes. Well, you know what? I guess we will continue. I might cut this into two parts. So, we'll see. Oh, no, I just played the chapter. Never mind. Uh, I'll cut off for now, but we'll see if I'll make another. Till next time.